Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to add columns with grid template columns. So simply creating a grid element doesn't get you very far. I don't think it changed anything. You need to define the structure of the grid as well to add some columns. To, uh, to the grid, uh, to add some, add the columns, to add some columns to the grid, use grid template columns property on a grid container as demonstrated below. So here they've got a container, they've got it set to display as grid, and then grid template columns to 50. Uh, this will give you grid, this will give your grid two columns that are each 50 pixels wide. The number of parameters given to the grid template columns property indicates the number of columns in the grid. Uh, and the value of each parameter indicates the width of each vol of each column. Give the grid container three columns that are each 100 pixels wide. The grid container three columns. So we want to say grid template columns, and we want to say each of them are 100 pixels wide. So 100 pixel. 100 pixel, 100 pixel. Huh, that didn't change anything. I wonder if that helps. Okay, that's not what we're supposed to do. Okay, cool. I see what I'm probably missing here. First, I want to put a semicolon here, just because writing in good or in consistent syntax is very useful. We want to make sure that we change the display. And then once I finish writing this, this should change to grid. Anyways, if we run the tests. Oh, look, I did GERD. Grid template columns. Oh, okay, cool. So it sets it up so that they're in uh, three columns like that. So if we run the tests, that should pass. Yeah, a lot of programming is just solving little syntax errors like where you just made a mistake like that. So it's always good to kind of write as slowly as possible to avoid uh, errors like that. Anyways, uh, that should pass the test. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.